What? What, what the hell? hell? Oh my god. That is too much ass. Is that... Oh. Oh. What the hell happened here? That's what I want to know. Where were you guys when this was going on? Yo, yo, oh, listen, listen. Yo, I didn't do nothing. We were at the catering table, right? I got me some biscuits. I got me some chicken. I got me some 40 OZ. It was good eating. Me and Sam that good. But yo, yeah. I saw I saw Troy, right? He's with this Kathy chick, like Sam yeah. was talking about earlier. Like, they had a coffin. They really did. Y'all book a coffin match tonight? I didn't did. book any coffin matches. Oh. oh. Kathy? Let's just get him up. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you can... Oh! 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 And now, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to see ourselves a kendo stick match. And this match got a little interesting earlier tonight when Gino Diomedes headstoned Rocco in a very strange and unexpected turn of events. Be earlier tonight, between the Cult of the Dead and Asylum, Rocco looks like he might have hurt his neck or he's got a cramp in his neck from the headstone. I'm not quite sure, but Rocco looks to already be at a disadvantage here for this kendo stick match where it's kendo sticks are legal, and the last time one of these two matches happened, it was Rocco against Gino. Now, making his way into the ring, and hailing from Red Rock, Colorado, it's Gino Diomedes. Well, I'm not quite sure what to make of Gino Diomedes right now. I mean, it could be the competitor spirit for the WAW Team Championship. But if you watched earlier, you saw that that very familiar evil glare from Gino Diomedes that we have not seen in a very long time as he makes his way to the ring here for this kendo stick match with Rocco. Gino now entering the ring. like we're about to get this one underway here on the Sane Show. It's a kendo stick match between Rocco and Gino Diomedes. Gino uh, hoaxing Rocco into taking off his singlet. Rocco thinking it had something to do with Gino, thinking he was sexy. Gino just seeing it as a measure of protection from the kendo sticks. Uh, whatever the uh, reasoning for Gino wanting that singlet off, it's off now. And this kendo stick match is officially underway. The legal weapon in this contest is, well, you guessed it, a kendo stick. And the last time these two guys locked it up in a kendo stick match was the last time that this match happened. It was back in 2003, and Gino Diomedes took the victory on that night, annihilating the newcomer at the time, Rocco. Rocco starting things off here after being on the defense very briefly. He's got the offensive advantage now, but Gino rolling into what normally would have been a pin to break out the arm bar there that Rocco had on him. Rocco, Gino. Let's go, Irish whip reversal by Rocco. Sends Gino into the corner and he flips over the top rope and onto the apron. Rocco now with a shoulder to the stomach. And Gino nearly falls off the apron twice now. Gino gets out of the way and drops the legs down on the back of the head 
of Rocco. Gino now, oh, drops that leg to the back of the head. Flipping style with the leg drop to the back of Rocco's head. Taking the Halloween Hellraiser down and let the use of the sticks begin as Gino starts wailing away on Rocco's bare skin body. Both of these men not wearing any t-shirts of any kind, any singlets while well, Rocco's not anymore. So they have no protection on their backs, arms, and chest. Rocco really doesn't have any. He doesn't even have elbow pads. Gino's got elbow pads, but that's about as far as he gets protected as Gino gets knocked off the top rope by Rocco down to the floor, who is just swinging and wailing away at Gino Diomedes. And now Rocco has two. And he hands one over to Gino, and he hits Gino right across the back, and it breaks. Rocco doesn't break, and Gino continuing to hammer away at Rocco, just going relentless there. Gino going off camera. Kicking Rocco right in the face. Hitting him right across the head with that stick. Oh, and it looks like Gino's got the real deal. Those are all makeshifts that have been broken over the bodies thus far. But it looks like Gino Diomedes has got the real deal kendo stick. Swinging it at Rocco. Swings again and Rocco moves out of the way, continuing to avoid the attack from Gino. Rocco's got him. Rocco slam. Takes Gino Diomedes down. I think Rocco might have caught one across the shin or the ankle there. He's limping after that exchange. Rocco now heading up into the corner, using that kendo stick as support to get himself up there. Kendo stick ride, dropping it down across the chest of Gino. But Gino immediately sitting up and throwing that kendo stick aside. Not smart of him to uh, not get it in his possession. And instead, Rocco continuing on the attack. Wait, what's this? I understand, ladies and gentlemen, our camera is about to run out of time. We're going to be switching cameras at any time now. And there we go. Switch cameras. The other one, I guess, was about to die or run out of tape or something. Not quite sure what was going on there. We're going to have to apologize in advance for the audio. This is not a camera normally used for the contest here on Aftermath, or this week as it's called the Sane Show. But at least we're still able to bring you the action here as Gino Diomedes and Rocco continue to battle in a kendo stick match as Rocco takes Gino down with a Russian leg sweep. And he could be going for, yes he does, Rock Slide taking Gino down face first with that kendo stick wrapped around his throat. Rocco now standing up to his feet. He's got that kendo stick, Gino's up and he kicks it right in the face of Rocco. Dead Razor kick there, taking Rocco out with the kendo stick shot right to the face. Gino now has that kendo stick in his possession and he hits Rocco across the back and again. Rocco's up, he ducks. Rocco takes it, takes a swing and he hits Gino right in the knees as he came running by, flipping the Dark Messiah over. Rocco again has that kendo stick. Oh, and Gino Diomedes takes him down with a drop toe hold. Kendo stick falling out to the floor. Gino quickly retrieving it, and he cracks Rocco right across the back with that kendo stick. And again. Gino Diomedes continuing to just attack and attack and attack on Rocco. This looks like the Gino Diomedes of old. Could it be the lust for gold that has got Gino seemingly reverting back to the way he used to be? Which is vicious without callous for his opponent. Oh, right in the head. And again, Gino continuing to wail away on Rocco. Rocco took a hard shot right to the top of the head. Anything goes in this contest, and again! Gino just going to town on Rocco, come on Gino! 
I know it's all about winning here, but come on, I thought Asylum and the Cold were supposed to have a mutual respect based on their enemies. But I guess that's out the window as far as Gino Diomedes is concerned. Sending Rocco flying off the ropes. Gino Diomedes now climbing to the top rope. This is almost getting a little hard to watch here. Oh, and a shot to the head once again. And the referee calls for the bell. He says Rocco can't continue. Red guy trying to take it away and he gets shut down. Gino now going away and going to town on Rocco. Wait a second. Here's Carnage. And Carnage stops Gino. Carnage stepping over Rocco and he's not fouling. And Carnage reluctantly bowing to his cult of the dead leader, Gino Diomedes. Gino's calling for a cut in the music, but I really don't think he, uh, I think he might have lost a little bit of respect in the back there. Maybe even the music guys are irritated. They don't want Gino's music to stop for him. They're not giving it to him at all. Rocco has been completely laid out here by Gino Diomedes. Gino winning this match by stoppage. You singly, handedly, destroy FMJ. You took them out. I single handedly took out asylum. So out of annihilation, the cult is walking on with the team title. Fear the cult! Fear the dead! Fear me! Gino Diomedes saying that the cult of the dead will walk out of annihilation with the WAWT championship, but Carnage does not look to be approving of the actions of Gino Diomedes. The action on the same show continues next.